Hi, it's Jesse from Peach Manifesto, and I have another AliExpress order. There was that big sale, and now all my orders are coming in, so all my videos are going to be AliExpress hauls. Just kidding. There, there'll be other ones, but um, so I did get a lot of these Z Joy plates, and they are really kind of like unique. I really like them. I don't think that they're dupes of anything. Um, the Z Joy plates I got for uh, 360 Canadian. All the prices I mentioned will be in Canadian dollars. So you'll probably get it cheaper than I did. Um, anyway, these ones that did not have uh, the Z Joy envelopes, these ones were all $1.91, which is an amazing price. Um, I will give you up close a uh, look at them, and I'm going to do swatches later. So this smaller Zodiac plate, I only paid $1.67 for that. And then for the big plate, um, I did pay $3.60. So I also got a bunch of packs of stickers, and I will give you an up-close view of those in just a little bit. Now this tip guide was a free gift from the company, which is kind of cool. Um, I will organize these into the groups that I bought them in and then tell you the prices when I get to that part of the video, uh, just because they are a little bit mixed up right now. And... I love these kind of stickers. They're really thin and you can like encapsulate them with a couple coats of top coats. And this also is another free gift from the company. I didn't order this and I thought it was kind of cool because I do like kind of like gems and things like that. And I got these cute little spiders for $1.79. And then these little pots of glitter I got for $1.34. And they're really nice. They're like fine and chunky. And, uh, they were exactly what I was looking for, so I'm really, really pleased with them. I also got these foils. They're advertised as matte. They're pretty shiny, but I think they're advertised as matte because they're not super metallic, and those were $1.21. Now, I'm not sure if I mentioned, but the seller of this haul is from Wakefulness Official Store. So these packs of stickers, this one has some like really random English words on it. This was the Flamingo pack. So it came in a pack of four and it was $2.97 for all these stickers. And I really love the florals that came with the flamingos as well. I thought they were very, very pretty. The next pack is the Unicorn pack and that was $2.89 and yeah. They're so, so cute. These chubby little unicorns. Ugh, I die. They're so cute. And uh, this one, super random. Like, it came in the pack. Um, there is some little Pegasus um, horses on the side. And some, like, weird words. And, like, baby bottles. I don't know. Maybe I'll use it. But it, the rest of the pack is really cute. Like, these flowers are so beautiful. Love it. And... Yeah, these are really nice quality stickers. This pack of stickers I got for my son because he really wanted some bugs and for me to put them on his toes. So we'll be doing that. And those were $1.50. Now, uh, these rose gold kind of like metallic stud uh, pack was $2.24, which I thought was a really good price. Um, I'm really excited to try these out. I kind of really like those little metal implements. So this was one of the layering plates and this was a Z Joy. Now this one has like a three layer, but most of them are two. They're up and down. Um, I'm going to swatch these, like I said. Um, and there was a couple of random ones where this doesn't seem to have a layering part to it. Um, this one really intrigued me. It was like marble design, um, just really kind of like unique and I didn't have anything like it. Uh, this one, I... You know how sometimes you just like buy something because it has two images you really like on it? Um, for me, that was the wheat and these leaves. I thought they could have some like, really cool um, inspiration uh, designs. This one was mainly, I thought you could do like some really cool like watercolor designs with it. And this one I thought would make some, for some really cool like stained glass type of nails. Uh, it had a lot of really cool inspiration. There was a tiny scratch, but I don't think that's going to bother anything. This one, I had a lot of images I liked. I really liked a lot of like the kind of ocean, the waves, the seashells, um, like the starfish and the bubbles. I'm 
totally into kind of mermaid nails, so I thought that would be a really cool plate to have. The Zodiac plate I thought was super unique because it has like the big, the medium, and the small, so you can really fit that into kind of any design. And this big plate just had so many images I thought would be kind of cool. There is two layering ones that kind of like feathers. And at the very bottom, there's a tiny, tiny apple that layers as well. Um, but it kind of has like those like henna style designs that are really popular. Things that kind of, kind of go around the cuticle area. So I definitely will get a lot of use out of this plate. And... Um, so starting off with the layering plate because I was really interested to see how this would work and everything picked up beautifully. Um, yeah, it was just a fantastic plate and I thought I would go with the three layered one because it was the most complicated and just see if I could do it. Um, I do a lot of stamping so I didn't think it would be too hard. Um, it was a little tricky to figure out how to place the leaves but I did get it in the end. The lovely thing about the clear jelly stamper is you can kind of really fiddle and figure out where you want and then as long as you press down really hard for a little bit the image will transfer through. Now I I could have left it just like this and I thought it'd be really, really pretty, but I wanted to test out the three layer design and see how well I could do. And I decided to outline it in black, but I kind of regret that. I kind of wish that I would have tried it in white. I thought that would have been a little bit more delicate, but it did turn out really nice. Um, I think I missed a little bit at the bottom, but sometimes uh, working with these kind of like pop sticks can be a little bit tricky, um, but it turned out pretty cute. Like I didn't miss too much at all, just a little bit at the bottom, but that was probably how I was holding it. And the next image I decided to do was the palm trees. And so I'm starting off with um, the trunks of the palm trees. And uh, they stamped so cute. And I do the palm fronds, I guess they're called, um, in my green. And they picked up really well. Now, I did have a little trouble um, placing these. I almost wish I would have went just a skosh higher. Uh, but it's like one of those things you kind of learn along the way. Uh, but I think they turned out really cute anyway. And like I said, everything seemed to pick up really well on this plate. I tried two different images and it worked quite nicely. Now this one was the one image I really wanted to try, which was the kind of like wheat image. I think this would be like beautiful fall harvest. I live in the prairies, so I thought it'd be very apropos for a lot of my clients. And I really, really like how it turned out. I think it's beautiful. So I completely forgot to record this image, but those are the leaves I was telling you about earlier. They stamped really beautifully. Now, this was uh, the marble one. I kind of decided to turn this into a layering plate, even though it's not. It didn't really turn out, but you can kind of see that it both images that I do pick up really well. I should have just left that one the way it is, but I decided to go over it with um, one that I thought would pair nicely with it. It was all right, but uh, I kind of wish I would have just done this on another pop stick. I just thought I would like save some pop sticks. Anyway, it's kind of cute, but you see what I'm going there. They both pick up quite nicely. So with uh, these roses, uh, again, the plate picked up beautifully and I thought I would try and um, attach kind of two different designs. Uh, it sort of turned out if I would have um, turned the one rose a little bit uh, to the side I probably could have connected a little bit better but I was kind of just trying to get through all my swatches and stick them in this video and get the video up. Anyway, um, this one is super cute. I really like the way that they turned out. Um, there is a lot of kind of like similar images. So you can kind of do what I did here and just pair them together just because they really do flow really nicely. And I think that's kind of cool because you have different size nails. Um, you can kind of have like a cohesive set, but like with slightly different images. So I thought that was really nice. And this one, um, I decided to do the bubbles over glitter because sometimes stamping looks oh, so cool over glitter, you know. Um, I was worried that the image was going to get a little bit lost with the glitter, but it does look very nice and I like it a lot. And then I thought this smash kind of image was kind of interesting, so I thought I would give it a go as well. And yeah, it turned out pretty cool. Like, I don't mind it. 
Now for this one, I'm going to do um, a few more swatches because it is a bigger plate and I uh, just wanted to kind of show how um, different images on different areas of the plate work. And I decided to start off with like the one layering image. Um, there is another one, but it's like really tiny and not that interesting. So um, yeah, this one picked up really well. Um, of course, if this was on a client, I would kind of clean up the other stuff underneath but I think it turned out really good. Uh, I think this image is like so pretty, like all the images on here are really pretty, but this one I really was intrigued to try and I think it's pretty stunning. And I wish I wouldn't have picked this image to go over glitter. Um, it's a little, it has a couple little really subtle um, parts to it that you don't really see as well over the glitter, um, but it did stamp really well. Now I specifically picked this feather one because I was sure that the detail would not show up very well, and I was right. Um, sometimes you could just really tell that the image is, uh, has too fine of detail to actually pick up very well in these um, kind of more inexpensive plates, um, but all the rest of them picked up really nicely. And then on to the Zodiac and these ones all picked up really, really nicely. Um, I tried to pick a bunch of different ones, and uh, one of them is my sign. I wonder if any of you can guess which one it is. Um, but yeah, no, they uh, it, it stamped really, really well. So I'm really impressed with all the plates that I got. Um, they were definitely worth the money. I mean, they were really inexpensive, so I, I really can't complain about anything. Thanks so much for watching another AliExpress haul on my channel. Please like and subscribe and we will see you all later.